Hello students, good day. How are you doing? Today, we'll be moving on to um, stretching springs under the topic forces and matter. So, let's start. Now, before we deal with um, any calculation or solution for today, let's drag these following words into the correct um, boxes and uh, check. Let's start. Spring is on from a rigid clamp. So that the top end is fixed. Now, weight are on on the end of the spring. The weight is referred to as load. If the load is removed, the spring will return to its original length. If the load is increased beyond normal, the spring becomes permanently stretched. So let's check. That's it. So the idea that shows how a spring is stretched and it is inelastically deformed is illustrated in this in the following diagram. As we can see from um, the figure. On the left, we have a spring that is attached to a fixed um, clamp with some weight on it. The addition of more weight causes the spring to elongate. Now, if the weights that are added are becoming larger than usual, the spring could break. This is what is illustrated on the right hand side of the page. As you can see, that shows that extension is one of the critical um, issues dealing with the elongation of spring when weights are on, on the spring. And um, adding more weights can cause the spring to become deformed. Now, extension of a spring. This quantity, increase in the length of the spring is known as extension. We should note that length of stretch spring is equal to original length plus extension. Therefore, extension in itself will be equal to what? Length of stretch spring minus original extension, original length. Extension is represented with small e. Length of stretch spring is L, Y, original length with L naught. Now, let's deal with this question. A piece of elastic cord, a piece of elastic cord is 80 centimeter long. When it is stretched, its length increases to 102 centimeter. What is this extension? That means our extension is equal to L minus L naught. Now, we have our L naught to be 80 centimeter, while the increase in length, which is L, is 102 centimeter. So minus extension now gives 22 centimeter. It's 22 centimeter part of the option. That is it. So let's pick it and check. So we have it like this. That's correct. So let's move on. Now, looking at this um, question, an experiment is carried out to measure the extension of a rubber band for different loads. The results as shown below. Which figure is missing from the table? 
if we should look at the table, the table shows the relationship between load, length, and then extension. And we should not forget that load in itself, uh, length in itself, rather, has relationship with extension. Now, let's relate length with extension. If we should look at um, extension length, if we should look at length, and the other side, we look at extension. Now, for the first extension, we have zero, and our length is what? 15.2. For the next extension, we have one, length is 16.2. Now, here now, we have 2.1, but we don't know the value of the length. So let's call it x. And for the last one, we have 30.4 in relation to what? The length 18.6. So this will require us to solve an equation. And how do we do that? Now, by virtue of stretching of spring, we know that load is directly proportional to extension. Let's call that Ke. So our K, which is constant of proportionality, is L over E. If that is the case now, that means load becomes the numerator, extension becomes the denominator. Now we now relate, let's call this one, let's call this two, let's call this three. So we relate two to one and relate three to two. So with that, we have x minus 16.2 all over 2.1 minus 1 is equal to 18.6 minus x all divided by 3.4 minus 2.1. So we can now say x minus 16.2 all divided by 1.1 is equal to 18. 0.6 minus minus x all divided by that will be 1.1.3. So with that now we can cross multiply. So we have 1.3 into x minus 16.2 is equal to 1.1 into 18.6 minus x. Now, let's multiply them together. At the end of the day, we have 1.3x minus 21.06 is equivalent to 20.46 minus 1.1x. So, we collect the like terms, 1.3x plus 1.1x is equal to 20.46 plus 21.06. Now, addition of that which is on the left hand side is give 2.4x is equal to, on the right hand side, the addition gives 41.5 2. So we can divide both sides by 2.4 to get the unknown x. So x now is 41.52 divided by 2.4. x gives 17.3. And don't forget that the length is graded in centimeter. So So we have 17.3 centimeters. So let's pick and check. That is correct. Let's move on. Now, 
The spring is stretched by hanging a piece of metal from it. What is the name given to the force that stretches the spring? Now, what is the name of the force that acts downward? Because by the time you are adding weight, the spring is acting downward on the weight. And the weight is also acting downward on its own. So the answer now will be what? Weight. That's correct. Now, let's move on. We have this question to answer also. A student carries out an experiment to plot an extension load graph for a spring. The diagram shows the apparatus at the start of the experiment and with a load added. What is the extension caused by this load? Now, if we should go back to the formula for extension, that will be what? L minus L naught. We have E to be equal to L minus L naught. Now, our extension will be what is our L? Our L this with what? The extension. And if you should look at it, that is when load is added. That will be Y minus the original length without the what? Load. That is X. So do we have Y minus X? Yes. So let's pick it and check. So we have Y minus X. And let's check. That's correct. So with that, let's have this summary for the day. For us to be able to choose the correct uh, statement. Now, let's analyze this statements one then the other. Springs do not stretch when a small force is applied. It is normal to measure how their lengths do not change. The statement is wrong because um, springs will always stretch when small forces are applied and their lengths will also what? Change. Springs stretch when a large force is applied. It is easy to measure how their weights change. That is not true. That is false. Spring stretch when a small force is applied. Yes, it is easy to measure how their length changes. That is true with the use of um, extension. So let's pick it and check. That is it. With this, we've come to the end of this class. Do well to visit our website www.edw.com to subscribe to our interactive um, notes and also our class. Do have a great time. Thank you.